So what is on your reading list for 2022? Have a look if any of these books are ones you're going to want to put on your reading list. Hello, I'm Brenda and in this video today I'm going to share with you five memoirs I intend reading in the next 12 months. Now I will read much more than five, but these are five that I've put on my list as memoirs to consider. Of the five memoirs, two for sure are ones I know I'm going to want to read. They're right up my alley. The other three are ones that I think are slightly different reading material for me and perhaps they'll challenge me a little bit and perhaps I'll just thoroughly love them and enjoy them. The first book on my list is by Stanley Tucci and it's called Taste, My Life Through Food. Now I'm really excited to read this memoir because it's totally up my alley. I love food, I love recipes, I love lifestyle memoir and I actually really like Stanley Tucci. I saw him in the movie Julie and Julia and I just thought he did a superb performance, a superb portrayal of Julia Child's husband, Paul Child. And so I was so taken with him and his charisma that I'm keen to read his memoir. This memoir are the stories behind the recipes in his two cookbooks. The first cookbook is the Tucci cookbook and the other one is the Tucci table. So those are his two cookbooks and then from that he's written now his memoir, illustrating the stories behind those recipes recipes. I'm really keen to read it. It's on my list and I know that I'm going to love it. The second memoir I'm going to read is called Unbound, Liberation and the Birth of the Me Too Movement by Tarana Burke. This is a new memoir that's come out by the founder and activist of the Me Too Movement. This is a really current topic and a current memoir that I really do want to read. Something that really struck me about this memoir that drew me into reading it is the byline in the write-up that this is also a memoir about the story of the leader we all have inside ourselves. I was really taken with that line and I thought, okay, here's a memoir that's going to expose me to a current topic that needs attention, expose me to the stories of black and brown women and girls sexual abuse and the story of the leader that's inside every one of us. So that is one what drew me to really putting it on my list of memoirs to read. Now the next two memoirs were actually recommended to me by a viewer of my channel when she mentioned the memoirs that she has read recently. And so one of them is called Boys in the Trees by Carly Simon. Now, I don't normally read celebrity memoirs. I'll be quite honest that I tend to put celebrity memoirs in a box. I prefer to read memoirs about ordinary people. And I don't always find celebrities to be ordinary people, but I often find that it's more about how many people I've slept with, how much alcohol I drink, and how many drugs I've taken. And I know that that's not what celebrity memoirs are all about, but that's not what I'm looking for when I read a memoir. But based on the recommendation of this viewer who mentioned that she really liked this memoir by Carly Simon, and I really like the title Boys in the Trees, I thought, okay, let me give it a go. I'm really keen on a well-recommended memoir, and this one comes well-recommended. So let's have a look what I'm going to learn about Carly Simon and what she's going to teach me about memoir writing and about life. The fourth memoir is again, as I mentioned, recommended by a viewer, and this one is a completely different memoir from regular memoirs because it is a graphic memoir. It's called Fun Home, a Family Tragic Comic. I am looking forward to seeing it because I want to see how someone takes the memoir writing principles and draws them. Now, there aren't many cartoon type memoirs out there or graphic memoirs because most of us don't draw, we write. But that is one thing you can do. Memoirs don't always have to be written, they can be illustrated. And so I'm looking forward to seeing how Alison Bechdel takes her story and draws it and how she takes memoir techniques and displays it in this graphic cartoon. It's also a topic and a subject matter that's beyond my usual frame of reference. So it's going to be intriguing to see how I respond to it and how I find it. And that's what I think is something we also need to do as writers is to read material, to read books that are outside of our usual frame of reference. I find that it really enriches us as people, it expands our horizons, it gives us a better understanding of other people. So here is one for you to consider too, Fun Home, a Family Tragic Comic. 
Right, now the last memoir is actually not a memoir, it's a book about a memoir. And I love to read books about writing and I love to read books about memoir writing. And so this one is called Thinking About Memoir and it's by Abigail Thomas. An introduction to this memoir is, if living is an art, it must be practiced with diligence before being done with ease. And I think the same can be said for writing. If writing is an art, it must be practiced with diligence before being done with ease. So I really like that line. There's a series called the About Living series of which the first one is thinking about memoir. And the concept here is to help adults look back at their past and use writing as a means of figuring out who they used to be and how they came to be who they are today. And I love that because I think that's what memoir writing brings to us as writers. That's what memoir writing brings to us as people to know our own stories, who we were in the past and how we came to be who we are today. It really enriches how we live our lives. So this book is about the habit of writing that are excellent for me. I love those types of topics and I love sharing them with you. So it's a book about the habit of writing as a way to keep track of what's going on in the front and the back of your mind and it will help would-be memoirists find their own side door into the subject. So I'm really excited about reading this book. I can't wait to read it. Now, the writer of this book, Abigail Thomas, has written her own memoirs, and one of them is called A Three Dog Life. So I somehow think I have found a new friend. I found a new friend in this book. I found a new friend in Abigail Thomas, and I know I'll be reading one of her memoirs, starting with A Three Dog Life. So which of these books will you consider reading? I'd love to hear about it. Do put it in the comments below. And if you have any memoir that you've read that you would recommend that we should all consider reading to really improve our writing, to expand our horizons, to really lose ourselves in, then please put them in the comments below. I know I'm always looking for great recommendations and I know others will be too. Because as writers, we do love to read. So I look forward to hearing all about your suggestions. Thank you for being along on this journey. I'm looking forward to all that we're going to do in this next year together as we write our stories. Mm -hmm.